Hello, this is Eric Colburn from ericcolburn.com, and in this AutoCAD Civil 3D for Lance of A's video, I'll show you how to add viewport scales. Similar to the last video I did about the file DIA command, this is a fairly simple technique and thing to, good thing to know, but obviously if it's something that you've never done before, you didn't know was an option available to you, then then that's a problem. So I'm hoping that this uh, helps you out in adding a viewport scale, which gives you some options with how to scale your viewports. So first thing I'll do, do is just switch to a different layout. And you can see I have a rectangular viewport set up here. And if you just look at the bottom of the screen, it says uh, viewport scales. Right now it's set to one inch equals 2,000. So this is a predefined list of scales from the uh, civil templates and you'll notice that it not, has a lot of scales, common scales, but uh, recently I was doing a survey that had a subdivision that had a small inset map that was set to scale one inch equals 500 feet. And for a couple of reasons, I had to change that to one inch equals 400 feet. And so you might come across that where you, and you see it's not, that is not an option on the uh, scale list. So you might come up with a specific scale that you'd like to apply to the viewport that just isn't available on this list. Well, very simple uh, to fix that. So what you can do is just click on the custom option at the bottom. And it comes up with the Edit Drawing Scales dialog box. And this is those scale lists that were on the list. And basically, all we're going to, you can edit them, select one, and click Edit. Or in this case, I'm just going to add one. I'm just going to put one inch equals 400 feet. And that'll be the name appearing in the scale list. I'm going to leave the paper units as one and the drawing units is 400. So for instance, one inch equals 400 feet. Click OK. And you'll see now, hit OK again, that's available on the list. It's just not really in good order or in the proper order. So what I can do again is click on Custom, Click on my one inch equals 400 feet, and I can, in this case, move it down so that it's after one inch equals 250, but before one inch equals 500. So it's in the proper location if you want to be neat about it. So again, I'm going to click on the available scales, and you'll see I now have the one inch equals 400 foot option and automatically rescales that viewport. So if there's a, not an available scale in the list that you'd like to use, very simple to add your own just by clicking on the custom and then just uh, add and uh, make up your own uh, drawing scale. So hopefully that helps you out. And again, not a very complicated thing to know, but if you never, again, if I said it before, you, you didn't know you could do that and you wanted to do that, uh, very simple uh, to be able to change the scales on the uh, viewport list. So this has been uh, Eric Colburn from ericcolburn.com with this AutoCAD Civil 3D for Land Surveyors video. Please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope uh, if you have a moment to visit ericcolburn.com where I have additional AutoCAD Civil 3D and Land Surveying resources. Thanks, work smart, and be brilliant.